Good morning, wild people. It's four in the morning in Alaska, and I've got a long drive ahead of me, about six hours, where I'm going to meet some friends and start a backpacking trip on Alaska's Resurrection Pass Trail. Shortly after I returned from the Pacific Crest Trail in August, I set out on a four-day backpacking trip to hike Alaska's Resurrection Trail. I was excited to experience Alaska's fall weather after having endured scorching temperatures during most of my Pacific Crest Trail adventure. The drive to the start of the trail was long, and when I was not fearful about hitting a moose on the road, I looked forward to the sunrises and change in colors along the way. I made the 300 mile trip to the trailhead, where after a bit of confusion, I met up with my friends, Jim and Laura, who used to be Alaska residents. We hit the trail in light rain and soon encountered muddy conditions. The forecast called for four days of rain on our trip, but this did not stress us out. We would only be hiking seven to 10 miles a day and I had reserved forest service cabins we could stay in for each of the three nights on the trail. The Resurrection Trail stretches 39 miles from Hope, Alaska to Cooper Landing through the Kenai Mountains. There are nine forest service cabins you can rent along the route. However, rather than go to Cooper Landing, we would hike a side trail back to the Seward Highway known as Devil's Creek Trail. The first day from the Hope Side Trailhead was muddy, cool, and rainy. A couple of bears left their calling cards on the trail as expected. We saw a few tracks and some scat full of blueberries that we too would later feast on during our hike. There's never a shortage of water on the Resurrection Trail. Compared to what I endured in Oregon and Northern California, I felt relieved. In years past, I've seen salmon spawn all the way up to the first cabin we would be staying in. The creek was too high to spot salmon and seemed to be double the size from when I've seen it in the past. We arrived at the Caribou Creek cabin drenched from rain. Forest Service cabins are solid and come equipped with either a wood burning or a fuel oil stove and plenty of hooks to dry wet clothes. Each cabin seems to be near a running stream, which always serves to lull me to sleep. On the second day, we ran across blueberries and crowberries and feasted along the way. We also came across a variety of mushrooms and a grouse. I found out that Laura likes to photograph all the wonders she sees along the trail. So for once, I didn't have to apologize for stopping all the time to take video shots. Our trip resembled more of a meander than a hike, which was refreshing after being focused on knocking out miles on the PCT. Halfway through the day, we took time to check out the beautiful Fox Creek Cabin.
The second night, we slept in the East Creek cabin. In the evening, Jim spotted a huge black bear on the hill. You could also see how the spruce bark beetle had ravaged the trees in our valley. It rained hard at night, and we knew that our third day would probably be filled with rain and wind as we made our way to Devil's Pass Cabin. We made the gradual climb up to Devil's Pass, and slowly the country started to open up, but it also got windy. Driving through the mountains, rolling down my window, feel the warmth upon my skin Summer's golden hour Met by midnight showers We dance under the evergreens oh, It's a good life It's a good life On the fourth day, swords of light pierce the morning clouds as we hike the final 10-mile stretch across and down Devil's Creek Pass. Water flowed everywhere. The hike through the high country confirmed what I had been feeling all along. From the black bear I spotted to the singing streams that seemed to flow everywhere, to the beautiful fall flowers. It was a joy to be back in my beloved home, Wild Alaska. It's always been there It's always been inside of you But it's hard to see it It's hard to believe it Doubt fills your mind as you question Your strength to fight it Darkness can only last the night i 
Inside.